here going on holiday. 6am prep breakfast of birch muesli, ginger shop, pan of raisin. What is that a veggie brioche? We are in Marrakesh. We are in the most gorgeous room. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of a room tour but first we want to go and explore the souks a little bit. So we're going to go head off now. Snooks in the souks. Snooks in the souks. I'm gonna start a hashtag. Oh, I love this hotel so much. We've come to a little rooftop bar for a smoothie and a little bite to eat. We've ordered like a pizza thing. We've got this gorgeous view. Look. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. I'm gonna say that a lot this vlog, I think. This guy. The birthday boy. <laughs> if any of you guys um, are after the best smoothie of your life, come to this place, Zwin Zwin Cafe. I came here a couple of years ago and had the smoothie Zwin, and oh my god, it was insane. And I never thought I'd get to have another one in my life, so I'm very happy right now. Yes, we have just moved from one rooftop cafe for a smoothie to another. So nice. Oh my god, I'm not sure about these sunglasses, you know. I feel like they make my face look a little bit weird. Like a bug. What do you reckon? Back at our hotel. Oh, that's hey, baby. Mangy. Oh, looking cat, that, isn't it? There are so many stray cats here. It's so sad. We um <laughs> got back from the souks after a long walk. I've got a massive blister on the look. Look at that. It's so grim. Um, now we're having a little bit of a chill before dinner tonight. I need to, I need to um, show you guys a room tour, it's so nice. Okay, so we've, we've kind of made ourselves at home here, so this room isn't as perfect as it should be looking, but here is a room tour. Oh my God. So this is, <laughs> this is, where's Wally? <laughs> Can anyone swatch it? 10 points. This is our room. We have a gorgeous big fireplace. We have a little lounge area and some shutters. And then beyond that, we have the bed with some little biscuits. And um, we get to keep this little camel, which they've called Omar. If we want our bed sheets changed, we leave Omar on the bed. But we're probably not going to do that because we want to save water in this country. And we do get to take him home with us. So then you come behind the bed and you have wardrobes and these amazing stairs leading up to the bathroom. We are running a bath before we go out. Look at this. I've never had a bathroom that's so luxurious. A little step. Oh my god, look! It's huge! I'm so excited for this. Yay! So we have come for dinner at a restaurant called Terrace de Species. Thank, Thank you. you so got a really, really bad headache which hasn't gone all night. This is a really cool rooftop bar. It's quite hard to find but it's really nice here. Look at this assortment of Moroccan salads in the most Gorgeous, romantic rooftop restaurant. Look, it's still bubbling. Got given these well fancy napkins. Does it work? You put it in the water. It's like a tampon. Jews <laughs> made a friend outside our Riyadh. Hey, little one. <laughs> oh. Look at this breakfast. Look at those cakes and all the little sauces in little bell jars. This is so sweet. It is Saturday, no, Friday morning. Um, it's a bit overcast this morning until lunchtime, so we decided to come out and explore the souks a bit more whilst it's quiet in the morning and whilst it's a bit cooler. Um, and we've popped into the Le Jardin Secret. No. Yeah, 
the secret garden um which i haven't actually been to this is my fifth time in marrakesh where i've never been to this garden before but it's beautiful loads of massive cacti how big how tall do you reckon that is 20 foot cacti there me i feel like i'm in jurassic park a little bit look at him he's swimming this is so sweet big fan of these little little plants because they look like peanut we are in the souks yes, trying to buy is a moroccan yeah, mint yeah. tea set i think the color ones are quite nice I like thank the, you um, i like the detail here it's yeah that's pretty yeah. it's like you know, you'd have to hand wash not dish wash. Yeah, hand wash it, yeah. Hand wash. i like the little lamps I think I like. look at him we are at our Riyadh got some orange juice and we're gonna have a little dip in the pool it is now 20 past 7 and I feel bad I haven't vlogged much today but it's been really nice and chilled after we um, haggled and bartered in the souks we um, went back to our Riyadh for a bit a dip in the pool and a read of our books in the sun and it was so nice um, we've now come out for dinner we, we wanted to find a rooftop bar to have some drinks on but the one that I normally go to was so busy and we didn't book I didn't book so um, we found this one that we've practically got to ourselves to watch the sunset in which is nice and then we have dinner booked in a bit as well so yeah nice evening yeah, I'm wearing this dress from Boohoo nice long one and she's wearing a gorgeous navy shirt where's your shirt from? Scotch and soda Scotch and great craft. <laughs> Look at this, it's so nice. It's a lovely sunset and a glass of Coke. Oh, look how little these cats are. They're smaller than my hand. But I love you. I'm sorry, I'm leaving. Well, if you want me to I forgot to show my meal, but oh no wait, I didn't. I showed my to Jean, but I've got hazelnut ice cream for dessert, which is my favourite ice cream. Oi! Oi! No! Back off! Back off! That's doing a taste like. Like the chocolate. Back the fuck off! No! We are back at our Riyadh now, playing our new favourite game which is marble solitaire we are playing it with our feet in the pool and with a cup of hot moroccan tea and there's a cat watching us so this is just a great evening this water is so nice and warm and then over here there's a little cat look at him it is Saturday morning and today is Jeff's birthday. We're sitting on the terrace opening his prezzies. Gorgeous view up here. Look, how's it feel being 40? <laughs> <laughs> no you. <laughs> feast, feast in the sun. Where's that cake gone? Look, oh, come back. Who's back? This me warm. Do you make I am designer. I have for this one look. Which you use guarantee look. So nice. We've been walking around the souks all morning. We bought the cutest little lantern, which I am um, trying to film some of, which was really funny. You've come back to the cafe we came to on the first day to have another smoothie. You got banana, strawberry, and orange. Orange. And I got my date and or orange blossom. On to the next roof terrace. We are now at Nomads, which is really popular here in Marrakesh. We've come for like loads of little sherry starter lunch lunch plates with an amazing view. What is that? Like a vegetarian pastilla, and then a little veggie mezze. Look at the view here. It's so nice. Little guys having his lunch. Just some lunch. 
feel like a little dinosaur. Jeff's just reading out a really gross Instagram DM I just got from some guy. Oh, it's very funny. It's a lot to unpa unpack, isn't there? There's a lot. He likes it. <laughs> and boobs. <laughs> so that's nice. Reply me compulsory. Oh, that's my favourite line. Can we screenshot this, correct his grammar and spelling and send it back to him? Yeah. And all my stories. Someone who is like bold enough and rude enough to say that he wants your pussy and likes your pussy and boobs and that he's waiting for you. He's also trying to be quite polite because he says please. <laughs> but then he says please bitch. So that undermines the please a mm. little bit and all of the other stuff undermines the please. So I'm just wondering why he said please. Babe, he's, got, he's about to go on your... Thank you. We accidentally ordered all of this food. <laughs> we only ordered two, two starters. This is two starters, man. Right? This is so good. Right. Oh, oh this. yeah. This looks like what you had yesterday. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> 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 Evening is mayhem. It goes quiet all of a sudden as soon as I get my camera out. It's non stop like donkeys and cars and motorbikes and bikes all at the same time. Non stop donkeys. We've, we've <laughs> got run over about nearly 10 times today. It's mayhem. And there's a coach, look, coming down a tiny little alleyway. What's going on? Maybe it's just non stop donkeys. <laughs> non stop. What's going on? Hey guys, we are back home. I didn't vlog coming home because it was so early. We had to wake up at 4.30 in the morning for our flight. But yeah, happy to be home. It's Monday morning. I'm just about to make some breakfast. I'm working from home all day. I've got some videos to film. And yeah, just lots of work to ca catch up on. I have got some yogurt, blueberries and banana for breakfast. For lunch today, this is turning into what I eat in a day. For lunch, we've got bacon sandwiches. You can't go wrong with a nice crispy bacon sandwich. What sauce does everyone have in theirs? I'm partial to a bit of barbecue or a bit of ketchup. Oh, today has been a busy one. It's actually been really productive. I haven't vlogged much, but I've got loads of li little random stuff done. I filmed a video, a brand job with Ann Summers, which I'm really happy with edited it sent it over did all my work for that ended up doing some tax stuff like filling out my spreadsheets done some like um instagram filter shiz but one thing i do need to do this week is sort my office out because it's got out of hand it happens so quickly um but i've basically got so many products which have been gathering in the corner of my room which i need to sort out into what i want to review and what i maybe do not want to review so i can give that away to you guys or give to charity um gleam also sent me my po box in this massive bag so i need to go through that as well as unpacking some bits from holiday i need to sort out and generally just doing a bit of a tidy i've also got loads of asos returns to send back which are gathering up on this sofa so yeah i need to have a massive declutter and organize basically i might actually sort out all my po po box stuff tomorrow so stay tuned because that'll be coming up in a second in this vlog um and today i'm gonna just sort out my packing and returns and just a general tidy one thing i am super excited about was this delivery from saturday which is megan ellaby's uh fashion brand i've been like following this instagram account and like lusting over some of the clothes and she really kindly sent me some bits my first impressions are gorgeous like the attention to detail comes in pink wrapping paper with little like branded stickers gorgeous jumper 
which says Saturday on it. I absolutely love that. And also this t-shirt, white t-shirt with this really pretty design on which says baby. The fit looks gorgeous and I cannot wait to try these on. Returns are all packed. We're now making some dinner. I've made like a marinade out of barbecue sauce, Worcester sauce, mustard, garlic. Should be nice. Marinating it whilst everything else cooks. Here's our dinner. It looks very orange. We've got vegetables, chips, and some <laughs> marinated chicken I haven't even tasted yet. I'm gonna try my chicken concoction that I didn't taste the marinade of before I started cooking it, which I probably should have done. That's actually fucking great. <laughs> I am ready for bed now. Just wanted to share a book I'm reading at the moment. I started it yesterday and so far I'm loving it. It's just so easy to read and if you are a murderino or love true crime, you will like this. It is called The Jigsaw Man by Paul Britton. It is a hefty, hefty book, but really, really quick to read. We were only reading for a short amount of time last night and I got through that i'm thinking about i've been thinking about it lots today so i recommend this it's all about a psychologist kind of quite similar to mind hunter on netflix it's about a guy who used his psychology analysis to help write the character profiles for crimes so that the police could help um narrow down the search of who to look for and yeah so far so good enjoying it yeah I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, it is Tuesday. It's like half past 12. I'm in so many layers today. I'm feeling a tiny bit run down. And I haven't been very good like or productive with work today. Yesterday was such a good day. I was so productive. And today I've just woken up feeling just a bit light in there. But I'm going to go and sort through my PO box now. I need to just charge my camera quickly and then I'm going to do that. Okay, I've sorted out all the products into piles of categories all down there so i can go through it in a bit but first i'm going to make some food because i'm hungry i did an online shop when we got back oh god the lighting in here and the other day and oh, i don't know what i fancy i might make a salad you know might make a salad with some like veg and couscous okay <laughs> last minute change of plan on the breakfast front i just wanted something really quick and easy and remembered that we had some fresh like olive sourdough so i have got poached eggs on sourdough toast i say on sourdough it's next to it because i don't like soggy bread now that is a pretty perfect poached egg if i do say so myself okay i'm gonna sit you here ignore the mess in the background um, and I'm gonna talk you through some new in product. First up, some makeup. Benefit have launched a new Browsings Pro Brow Palette. Oh my God, behind me looks so messy. You're gonna have to ignore that. This is what it looks like. And inside you have three different colors of brow wax and four different brow powders and a couple of different brushes, which look like they'll be perfect for kind of just filling in. So there's two kind of dark browns and a translucent i've got the shade medium deep and i think these colors will be pretty good for my face it's quite a big compact so maybe not so perfect for traveling with but i'm definitely looking forward to giving this a go i really wanted to show you some new products from fenty because i love this brand they've released some new little eyeshadow palettes these are called snap shadows and they are so cute, so tiny, literally the size of the palm of my hand and I have very small hands. So these are perfect for traveling with. And um, let me show you, look at that. So this one is called Six Smoky and it has these gorgeous kind of matte and shimmer shades to make a nice smoky eye. And we have the deep neutrals as well. Ah, oh, this is right up my street. Look at those. Again, shimmers and mattes in these nice warm kind of red orange tones. Fenty also have some gloss bombs. These are universal lip luminizers. I've got three different shades here. One is called Glass Slipper, and I'm guessing, yeah, it's like this really, like, translucent lip gloss. 
we've got one called hot chocolate and one called sweet mouth i am not a massive fan of lip glosses so i'm probably going to do a giveaway with those because i just know i'm not going to use them but maybe that means some of you guys can get to try them out urban decay again one of my favorite in fact perhaps my longest favorite makeup brand i remember when i was studying at uni even before then um, and I worked a part-time job and I would save up money especially to buy Urban Decay makeup palettes like eyeshadow palettes because I was so passionate about makeup and their palettes were unlike anything on the high street at that time like we didn't have all these amazing brands that did really nice bright pigmented shades Urban Decay were the only ones and they were a lot more expensive so yeah, they're brands that I've always been such a fan of. They've sent a couple of their sprays, the Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray in Ultra Matte. If you guys find that your makeup slips off really quickly when you're out and about, you need to try the Urban Decay um, setting sprays because it keeps it in place for so long. I love them. And this is a, a face primer, all nighter. Again, so it should help it stay on all day. Looking forward to trying that. And they also have a new naked stay naked threesome palette which is 14 hour wear bronzer highlighter and blush so it looks like they're going all out for like the long wear makeup at the moment which is really exciting beautiful love 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 ah oh, they have this as well stay naked the fix is a 16 hour wear powder foundation a powder foundation i'm very much interested in oh yeah that looks perfect i might try that now actually I'm only wearing a tiny bit of Bare Minerals powder foundation. Hmm. Actually really impressed with that. I'm going to add that to my makeup bag and give it some more goes over the course of the next week. Let me know if you'd like an update. I showed you guys Ted Baker has launched a makeup range and I've got quite a lot of it here. Lovely eyeshadow palette. If you want to see the event I went to I'll leave a link to that vlog down below. Estee Lauder have sent a couple of bits from their new limited edition spring range which is called Act two i think i'm not very good with roman numerals but it is very instagrammable it's like this gorgeous uh gold and marble packaging this is a highlighter which when i first opened i was like whoa look at that so pretty and they've sent two lipsticks coral which looks like this that is right on my street and rose which looks like this love the smell of lipstick a couple of bits from pixie these are from their new spring summer 2020 makeup range so we've got a blush quad in the shade honey nectar that's really nice they have an on-the-go blush stick, which is in the shade of Ruby. I've seen people talking about these online, but I'm quite excited to give it a go. Look at that. The packaging's so cool. You literally just add it on the cheeks, I guess, and rub it in. And they have a couple of lipsticks. We've got Peony, the natural lip. I do love pixie lipsticks. They're really moisturizing. And the packaging's cool. It feels recyclable. This is what that one looks like. Stila sent this, which I haven't opened yet, but it's a, it says Beauty Boss Lip Gloss Set, and I'm guessing you can buy a set like this. Whoa, look at that. Very pretty, six different kind of lip glosses. They all look kind of shimmery and holographic, which is really nice. You can see that properly here. Oh, I look like I'm in jail, look. <laughs> Again, I don't really wear lip glosses, so I might give that away. And lastly, for makeup, I got this beautiful box from Pat McGrath Labs. I really like Pat McGrath. I really like their foundation. I've tried a couple of their eyeshadows as well, um, but their like base products are my favourites. And they sent this, which is just out of this world. I feel so spoiled getting this. New Weightless Full Coverage Radiant Matte Finish Concealers. So this is their sublime perfection concealer correctors and i think they've sent quite a lot of colors here concealer l3 nice simple classic elegant let's give it a go shall we using my camera as a mirror my skin's been quite bad at the moment i think it's like hormonal hmm 
very nice that has covered it perfectly and it doesn't feel heavy on the skin so yeah i'll try those and let you know and there's also some um powders here as well light skin fetish sublime powder oh perfection blurring under eye powder i love an under eye powder some powders can be so heavy under your eyes and they can cake up and really age you so it's good to have like a nice really light one under the eyes so this is the light one and this is medium i wonder if medium would be too dark for me yeah that's too dark for me maybe not in the summer so that is makeup a couple of lifestyle bits a, a color changing beauty blender i bloody love a beauty blender and i love a product that changes color so i think when it's wet it turns pink or blue um and they've also sent um, a limited edition solid cleanser which is kind of like marble effect so i'm going to give those a go skinny dip for valentine's day sent me a really cute underwear set but i received it too late but i've got it now i haven't tried these on yet but look how cute they are skinny dip thank you so much got a little bra set as well definitely need to um take some pictures in those because they're very cute fudge urban i am obsessed with their violet purple shampoo range this looks slightly different to the packaging of their other one this is their violet toning shampoo conditioner clean blonde damage rewind so for 90 percent stronger hair fudge are the best for um purple shampoo so i cannot wait to try that and they've also got a couple of styling prep products a leaving strengthening and detangling treatment spray and the tri blow which is a blow dry spray to prime shine and protect i don't currently use that much heat protectant on my hair so i definitely need to get into the habit of doing that oh there's also these oh, i love the packaging of this the weightless smoothing mirror shine finish aqua shine serum and a blow dry aqua primer weightless heat protectant long lasting smoothness and hold a brand that i really like but i haven't actually tried too much of is keras kerastis kerastas such a gorgeous kind of like luxury hair brand they really kindly sent their genesis k fortifying anti-hair fall conditioner and shampoo this is for weakened hair which is prone to falling due to breakage which i need having like kind of bleached hair they also have serum in the range and low dry fluid in the range as well just some quick body bits it looks like there's this new range i've never heard of it before beauty laundrette i love the packaging it's kind of really like funky body wash moisturizer bath soak body wash been sent a couple of fake tans we have the super drug bronzing aqua mousse we have the amanda harrington body mousse illuminating bronzing mousse with hyaluronic acid and aloe vera I do like a good fake tan every now and again so i'm going to use those also saint tropez have their self tan purity bronzing water face mist which is great um this works i just wanted to mention these this works because i love the idea of this they do like the night spray to help you sleep a bit better and the whole idea around this one is the love sleep pure pillow spray and it's designed to like help you fall asleep better but also maintain more intimacy in the bedroom which i think is something that we all definitely struggle with nowadays if you're in a relationship you might find that you're you get in bed with your partner in the evening and you're just both on your phones rather than like spending quality time with each other so i love the fact that you can like get in the mood by spraying this around your room it says part of your pre-sleep ritual used before bed to get yourself in the mood for sex or sleep a blend of lang lang patchouli frankincense and i love that i love that a brand like this works are talking about sex and how it's eat like healthy to be intimate with your partner i also got sent a book called his and hers love getting a book it's like a murder mystery so i'm looking forward to reading that i don't know who sent me this but someone sent me a just eat voucher which i think is my favorite thing in the peer box <laughs> A couple of sex toys next um smile makers this is a brand new sex toy brand which is launched on beauty bay which is a beauty website i love that beauty brands are getting in with the whole sex toy products so they've sent a generous gel which is a lube and a 
toy called the tennis coach which looks like this and is designed to hit your g-spot it's a g-spot vibe ergonomically crafted for precise aim i cannot wait to try this apparently if you massage and stimulate your g-spot it makes it really easy to squirt so <laughs> this is taking a turn but if any of you guys have been like interested in doing that then i would recommend getting yourself um a g-spot vibe and seeing if it works for you it might take some time if it's something that you've wanted to do or try i recommend trying it by yourself before with a partner and just get into grips with like how your body likes it and read some like articles online of how to do it and practice also Lalo sent me one of their sona 2 sonic clitoral massages guys if you haven't used a uh, Lalo sona cruise before you have to give it a go i've spoken about this quite a lot but there is no sex toy like it it basically uses like sonic waves to stimulate the clitoris directly but without putting any direct like pressure on it so you can have multiple orgasms really easily you can come so quickly it takes a little bit of a while to find the right spot because obviously that area of your vulva is super sensitive but once you find that spot you will not be disappointed um i love this one of my favorite sex toys finally a couple of bits from skincare ren really kindly sent some of their products over and i love ren look at all this this is so kind of them we've got some of their mattifying sun cream with spf 30 definitely keeping both of those because i love an spf i wear an spf all year round that is partly what i put down to not looking my age because i've worn spf really high spf every day since i was about 15 i've always been really into my sun protection i do think that is why my skin doesn't look that wrinkled that and the fact that i've never smoked a cigarette and i always since the age of about 15 as well have slept with silk pillowcases because i read really young that that they're good for your skin because they don't like pull and drag when you sleep so yeah those three things i really contribute to having like good skin at the age of 31. They've sent their anti-redness serum their replenishing gel cream their day cream and um, Ren also have their AHA glow tonic so I need to use that. Kiehl's I went to their event for their powerful strength line reducing dark circle diminishing vitamin C eye cream concentrate serum that is a mouthful I'm going to put that on my bedside table to start using it before bed. Murad sent this yesterday and i am really looking forward to this i really want to get into using retinol my skin on a regular basis and they've got this retinol youth renewal range so it has an eye cream a day cream and a night cream this is like corrective helps to minimize the signs of aging i really want to get into retinol so i'm looking forward to giving this a go i'm gonna hold this still pause it if you want to have a read their minerals have also sent a couple of bits they're total cleansing oil this is an amazing makeup remover i've used this before and they've got a new range called pureness which um i've been using the day cream of and i really really like oh my god that was so much stuff now i need to like sort this out and find a home for it and put it away whilst i've been filming that i'm feeling a little bit more ill <laughs> the back of my nose feels so gross and like oh it just feels horrible one more thing i forgot to show you charles worthington sent this box with some really cute bits in they've got some hair gummies got some slip hair bands these are silk hair bands so they don't hurt your hair and this lovely little makeup bag or travel kit and there is three products in here if i can get them out so it's the grow strong activating shampoo with a scalp tonic stimulates hair growth for lasting results in just four weeks so yeah if you want to grow strong nice hair got a protein conditioner activating shampoo and the scalp tonic i have just got back from circus i lost my vlog camera in my office so I didn't have time to find it before I went to my circus class. But I feel good for having done a bit of exercise. I'm going to jump in the shower now and then um, help G finish dinner. We have got noodles with mange chou and red onion and ginger and garlic and teriyaki sauce. And a chilli salmon and a buttered broccoli. Doesn't look half bad this. I'm going to end this vlog here. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll see you next.
next week for another weekly vlog.